Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? How is everybody doing? Back to our normal stream time. Let's uh, real quickly jump into the bear grind to start things out. And then I think we will jump into the red deer grind after. Although, actually, let me put up a poll. Last time I put up a poll, so let's see. Let's have you guys vote on it. There we go. Angelino, Steven, Duxton, Austin, Owen, Nevea, Ben, William, Aiden, Death Reaper, uh, Chase and Tail, Sasol, Deegan, Garrett, A.E., Tyler, Skunk, uh, Carson, Trippy, Hunting Man, Aiden, Brennan, Jessica, William, uh, Elza. How's everybody doing? Hey, Justalon. Hope everybody's doing good today. Hey, Hannah, how you been? Yeah, double great ones would be amazing. Hey, Sam, hey, Hollow. Uh, no, Hollow, I'm gonna stick to my maps today. Wow, it's like 50-50 split at the moment, guys. That's pretty crazy. Black Bear are ahead by a little bit. But not by a ton. Yeah, same Deegan. Hopefully we'll get something good today. Also, I'm trying to get my mic the correct distance away so I don't blow your guys' eardrums out. Hey, EH19, how's it going? Hey, Hunter123. Fine, don't share the luck. Well, I'm sorry, Hollow, but you know, I got two grinds I'm on. Kind of want to send that luck over to the uh, the bear grind, since it's been so rude to us. Nice, Anna. Have you been trying out uh, killing only the fives and above? That's been working out really good for me. I'm actually really excited to show you guys something today. I have continued to only kill level 5s and above on my Red Deer grind, and I have got it to the point where there is only level 6s and above at a couple of my lakes, and almost all of them are always 8s and 7s and 9s. It's crazy. I have somehow managed to get so many 4s on certain parts of the map that the other parts of the map spawn nothing but big males. It's kind of crazy. I was absolutely blown away the first uh, few runs that I did after they started uh, populating those lakes. And I was like, wow. Every single run, it's just 7s and 8s and 9s at this lake. It's kind of crazy. Well, if they spawn a 4 or a 3, you just don't shoot it, Deegan. Eventually it does get to a point where there's a lot of smaller ones on your map, but those big ones that you still have will continue to respawn as big ones eventually. That's what I've noticed at least. Like, the further I got in this grind, the more often the respawns are coming back as big deer. Anyway, let's get into the black bear grind since you guys voted for that. We shall see if we can get something good today. I had a dream that I found a 10 fabled black bear. But for some reason, it was a minimum weight female. I don't know how that's a thing, but <laughs> that's what my dream was. So I guess we're we're getting either a, a level 10 female black bear or we're getting the great one today. Hard to say. <laughs> nice, and hopefully it'll work out for you. Hopefully you will end up getting uh, some good respawns out of it. Definitely seems like it's working. Uh, what do you mean, bird dog? Do you mean like, uh, forcing them to spawn as larger ones because of the way that you're hunting them? If that's the question, then yes. Nice, peanut butter. I got you, Milo, sending good luck your way. Hopefully you'll have good luck. Joshua, thank you for the nine months as a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Deegan, you can do it with any grind. 
I've been doing it with red deer mainly, but I'm also doing it with bear. You can do it with white tail as well. Nice, Ben. That's awesome. Got your money on a level 10 female? I hope so, Sam. That would be an interesting thing to come across. I remember in my dream... In my dream where I spotted the 10 fabled female deer. Or, uh, not deer. Uh, bear. My first thought in the dream was, uh, is this a modded server? You know when that's the first thing in my dream? That there's a cheating problem in Call of the Wild. Because the first thing that was in my dream was me thinking to myself, Well, we're in multiplayer. Is this a cheated server? Gotta love it. Hopefully the cheating problem will get resolved one of these days. Then I won't have to have dreams like that. Where that's my first thought. <laughs> yeah, that would be really cool. To, uh, tragic. That would be cool. What fur type do I want for the black bear? I would really like to get a spirit bear, I think. Spirit bear or fabled chestnut. Those would be cool. Take that little turkey down real quick. Since he's going to give us a shot. Then we might as well get his buddies too for a little bit of hunting pressure clearing. Oh, how did we miss that? Oh, we're missing him. It's okay, Crokin aims like 3% of the time. <laughs> Jace, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Super generous of you. Welcome back. Just got back from saltwater fishing, caught a ton of fish. Dude, that's awesome. That is awesome. It's been a while since I've been able to get out and saltwater fish. Gosh, you're making me want to get out and do some saltwater fishing now. That's awesome though, dude. That is awesome. How many diamonds do I have? Uh, probably around 750 at this point. I check it every once in a while, Jape. Believe it or not, they don't really go there for me. Even with uh, all the different runs I've done, they never seem to go to Sun Sister for me. Even when it's been a while since I've checked it. Uh, Dylan, I face revealed a long time ago. You can uh, find it by searching Scarecrow Face Reveal. Do I have a bear grind guide? Kind of. My first uh, Great One Bear video was a bit of a grind. It was showing off all the spots that I hunt. Also, Sam, since you're in here, I ended up getting a total of, I believe, 16 shinies during yesterday's community day. I believe that's a new record for me. I was having some insane luck. And I also ended up getting a hundo from a trade, but I didn't realize it was a hundo until after the uh, event was over, so I wasn't able to actually get the special move on it. But I did end up getting a Hundo Starly, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, it was a lot of shinies. But we live like right on top of an area that's a hot spot, so we're, we typically have quite a few to catch. I think uh, in total during yesterday's community, I caught like 250 Starly. And yeah, out of the 250, like 16 of them were shinies. Sadly, none of them were good IVs. Turkey. Okay. Oh, nice, Hannah. That's the best. I live on one as well. It is uh, definitely a game changer. Oh, gosh. 
Turkey, incoming. That's too far away. Let's just shred this turkey instead. Do you guys think it's dead? Might need to put another into it. Alright, stop moving. I think we're good. Nice, Myra, that's awesome. I have heard that Finland's pretty good. Is it easier to play on a controller or keyboard and mouse? I'd say it really depends on what you're good at. Some people are going to be better on one and others will be better on the other. But I think in general it's easier to learn mouse and keyboard. And you can be a lot more precise because you have a lot more options with what you can do to kind of customize it to your liking. Like on uh, with keyboard and mouse I play with a super low sensitivity on my mouse so it makes it so I can be very precise with my aim. Oh, you got a shiny rock rough, Sam? I have been after one of those for so long and still don't have it. I think I've uh, raided and hatched close to a hundred rock rough and I still don't have the shiny. Like that is just terrible luck since I believe it's a one in 64 chance. One in 64 chance and I can't get it within a hundred. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. And that's one of the ones that I want the most. That is incredibly lucky, dude. That's so lucky that you got one. 30 pound amberjack. Nice, Jace. Nice. Why do I sound like Flinter now? Uh, well, I mean, I'm streaming in the morning now compared to the afternoon, so maybe it's just the, the just woken up voice. What level am I on Pokemon Go? I just hit 40 last night. I know, Sam. That was insane, right? That was insanity. What time is it where I live? Currently, it is 10.31 a.m. Yeah, Sam. That was ridiculous. So the craziest thing happened, right? I was raiding uh, with my wife, right? Every Moltres was a shiny from that raid. It was insane. Absolute insanity. Never before have I seen every single Moltres from one raid come out as a shiny. It was most insane. And I think mine was a 94% IV shiny as well. By far the craziest luck I had yesterday. Though the, the 16 shiny Starlies was pretty good as well. But I think that was the craziest moment I've ever had in Pokemon Go. Like, it's a 1 in 20 chance for a... It's a 1 in 20 chance for a Legendary to come out as a shiny. And so the fact that everybody from the raid got one as a shiny, that's just absurd. I've never seen that before until yesterday. Yeah, me too, Austin. The angler is going to be great. What's the coolest rare I have? I really like my melanistic uh, male pheasant. That's by far my favorite one. I th oh! Random level 3 turkey! And this is why it pays off to just shoot random stuff while you're grinding. That's a diamond turkey right there. Whoa, now, buddy, don't be moving on us like that. You almost got away, but not quite, little dude. That was random, though. Yeah, Arrow, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. That is the first time that I've ever seen that happen. Me too, Hunter, me too. I am incredibly weddy, weddy, weddy. I'm weddy, guys. <laughs> My gosh, can't speak. 
I am extremely ready for Way of the Hunter. I tried to say Way of the Hunter and ready at the same time and it came out weddy. <laughs> oh gosh. Only rare is an albino blue wildebeest. That's still a good rare though, William. What's the biggest thing I've ever killed? Probably my 271 scoring diamond red deer. It's kind of hard to judge biggest because they all score differently. Like every animal in the game scores a bit differently. But that red deer was so large compared to every other diamond red deer I've seen that I think it's by far the biggest thing I've killed. And pretty much crow scare, no joke. Like she's able to like fully say like da da and mama -ma now. But I, I can't even say the word ready. Uh, yes, Moose is in Way of the Hunter, though it's not the best looking Moose model I've ever seen. There we go. The level 3 turkey, or if you're bro bro, the level 8 turkey. So let's uh, see if it makes diamond. I imagine it will, but I've heard people say that they control now. It's a diamond, 4.60. 10.24 kgs, beautiful. Good way to start the day. A diamond turkey. It's not a diamond bear or a great one bear, but I'll take it. At this point, I don't even think that we have shot a single bear. Pretty sure it's just been turkeys we've blasted. Little unfortunate that we haven't found any good bears, but I'll take a nice diamond turkey. I know, Tragic, it's crazy, dude. I swear, she she's gonna be forming full sentences in no time, and I'm gonna be slowly losing my ability to say full sentences. Nice, Hunter, that's awesome. Baby Crow Scare. I actually need to get some new emotes designed because um, we have like three new emote slots from all of these gifted memberships over the last couple weeks. So we need to get those like selected. I need to uh, talk to both Holocrow and Archie and see if they can design some new emotes. But the problem is I don't know what emotes to do. What type of emotes do you guys think we need? All right, later, Hannah. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good evening. Can you give me tips for red deer grinding? Um, I am going to be coming out with a guide very shortly, Cannon. But uh, what I would say is kill everything level 5 and above. And then... Eventually, you should start seeing them just produce larger males. I would recommend hunting the Pukimaro Lakes, the lakes above them, and also... Check the entire river below to see where your red deer zones are on the river because you can have quite a few zones along that river. And some of them are pretty insane. And this is for Tiawaroa that I'm talking about as well. A grind emote? Yeah, that could work. Great one themed emote? Maybe. I do have to be careful with great one related stuff since uh, EW... Uh, has copyright on the logos, so I can't use any logos. I can't use any of the diamond or great one emo or logos because that would technically be in violation of their copyright laws. So, because you can't profit off of somebody else's images, so I can't use the great one logo or the diamond logo because memberships are a paid thing. So I'm not able to do that, unfortunately. It has to be something original, something that isn't already used. Something uh, without copyrights on it. These bear are just being weird today. Where's all of our males? Come on, big males, where are you? Definitely not here, because that's a four. All right, well, he gets to live. Lucky bear.
Yeah, we still have the solo dough, though. Solo dough, though, is an original one, so that's the type of thing that we can do. We can do stuff like that, but I can't, like, just put a Great One logo as an emote. Uh, true, Sam. True. True. <laughs> but I, I'd prefer not to since uh, Jaxie and TK have directly said that we can't use that type of stuff. What reserve is the best for Whitetail? Rev on Thule and Rancho seem pretty good. Alright, later, Fainter. Thank you, T, and I appreciate that, dude. I'm just happy that we got it quickly. Now, if only the bear would cooperate as well. Nice, Scott. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Tiawaro is a gold mine right now. All right, later, Sam. Have fun with your shopping. Catch a shiny Pokemon. That's a nice weight estimate on a bear. Nice, Booga, that's awesome. Yeah, Hollow, I think the I think the thing about it though is when it's something like let's say a thumbnail, like that's fair use because we're we're modifying it and we're not profiting off the thumbnail itself. We're profiting off of the um the videos that we create, which is our own creation. But then if you just use the emotes, or if you just use the medals as an emote, there's nothing that you have changed to make them your own. So it is just in violation of copyright law, and the actual developers have asked that we don't do that. I don't know, um, I don't know why, but I'm assuming it's just because thumbnails and videos and stuff like that, that's all fair use. But then... Using it in the form of, like I was just saying, a uh, a paid emote. That's a little bit different. That'd be like if you made some emotes for me and didn't tell me that I could use them, and I started using them, and then you were like, "Hey, I didn't tell you you could use those." Although that's probably a terrible comparison, but uh, this is the only comparison I got. What I think is the easiest great one to grind? Probably Red Deer. Uh, strictly because Tiaboroa is just that good. Tiaboroa is just so insanely good that I think Red Deer is the easiest. You know, maybe we need... Um... Oh, I got an idea. We could do like a mod alert emote. To, like, let moderators know that there's something going on in chat. Because there's sometimes where it may be difficult for one of the mods to spot everything that happens in chat. Like, let's say somebody comes in here and they say something that's a little bit spicy. And the mods end up missing the message. Then, the members could drop the mod alert emote. And then we could also do... What was the other one? I just thought of another one, and now it has left my brain. What was the other one? I just thought of another one that could be used, and now I can't remember it. Oh, we did not hit this guy good. What was I... What was I gonna say? There was another one. There's another one that I thought would be cool. I'm pretty sure I said it right before I said mod alert. Do you guys remember if I said another one? I swear I did. Yeah, that works, Hollow. Like a... A red button that says mod. That sounds cool. Or like a giant red mod.
Oh yeah, the grind emote. Yeah, we could do a grind emote as well, I think. I believe I have three or four slots for new emotes. So I'm just going to let you guys continue to come up with some ideas on what you would like to see. I mean, since you guys are the ones that will use the emotes primarily, I definitely want to make sure that we're picking stuff that you guys want to see. Maybe Arrow, but the thing is, like, all emotes are for members, so I think for the most part, most members will use them accordingly. At least in my experience as a content creator, I've noticed that 99% of the time, uh, people that are members seem to be relatively good at following the rules. I mean, if you're gonna spend the money to become a member, most of the time, you know the rules of the channel. That's what I've found. Most of the time, the majority of members on the channel follow the rules uh, very well. And so I don't think we have to worry about that. Hey, Ben, how's it going? A Gerald emote? I mean, maybe. I mean... If... I don't know. What would you guys think of like a... Uh, an emote that is like a small red deer with like little spike antlers? Because a red deer isn't, uh, it, that's not a copyrighted thing. Red deer are just an animal. As long as it's like, I guess a cartoon depiction of it, then that would be perfectly fine. We could use it as kind of like a small male type of, uh, emote. And I suppose maybe we could do uh, Brobra's legendary level 8 duck. I, d I don't know how we would do that, how we would get that into an emote. But if we could, that'd be hilarious. Just level 8 duck. We'll see, though. We'll see. I think Hollow's uh, cooking up something right now. For, um, for the mod alert one, so... We'll see. Okay, I can definitely do that, Hollow. I can definitely do that. I want to get all the, like, emote stuff done uh, within probably the next week or two because I don't know when the gifted memberships expire. But as long as I get the emotes locked in before they expire, even if we go below the required member count, we'll still have the emotes. So I want to get them locked in. <laughs> oh my gosh, Crow Scare. That's actually kind of funny. That's kind of funny. I'll give you that one. What's the best gun for Whitetail? I like the uh, 308 and the M1. They're both really good for Whitetail. All right, Hollow, no worries. Yeah, Jan. Well, I guess we'll have to see what those new emotes are like, right? Nice arrow. We will be uh, taking out old Gertie today as well. Since I told you guys we would put her with our great one when we got it. It's time that we uh, take her out today. And then we'll have to find a new one to name. I mean, since I'm leaving everything level 4 and below, uh, we can name one of the level 3s that I have on my map. We could give it a new name. Because I have a couple level 3s that are little spikes. Uh, no clue, Jessica. I've never owned one. Never owned one before. So I'm not sure how that would work. We 
We gotta do it, Luke. We gotta do it. Oh my gosh, Crosscare, that'd be hilarious. Though I want to save my uh, multi-mounts for stuff like the Great One. Nice, Cooper, that's awesome. Uh, what do you mean by that, Amy? Are you talking about being able to select from a list of servers? If that's what you're referring to, I don't think it ever will. Because it's not a it's not a matter of EW doing that. It's a matter of Xbox allowing it. For some reason, there's just something with Xbox that makes it so they can't do it. Come on, run to the water, please. The one time I want you to go to the water. <sighs> well, we can't get him. He is out of bounds. I was hoping he would go to the water. But he decided to not go to the water. Oh well, not much we can do there. Oh my gosh, I just thought of something that would be hilarious as an emote. So think think about the like spike red deer that I mentioned, but with with like a monocle on its eye. And that that'll be Gerald. A spike red deer with a monocle on its eye. And maybe its hoof is like... Like pushing the monocle a little bit. I think that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious, I think. What do you guys think? Would that be a good one? Though at the same time, for anybody that isn't aware of how we named a... Uh, a red deer Gerald and just left him on our map they would probably be pretty confused do you guys think it would still make sense to or do you think those people would still like it for the people that don't know about Gerald do you think they would still like the emote because we got to think about that as well we got to think about will it will it be something that everybody likes I already bought it, uh, Colin, I bought the pre-order. Drinking a cup of tea with one hoof sticking out? Oh my gosh. Great heavens, my monocle is falling off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this will be hilarious, I think. This will be hilarious. Are you hearing all this hollow? This, this might be the golden emote. This might be the one that everybody loves. Gerald, the spike red deer with a monocle. Alright, yeah, it seems like all of you like that idea. Okay, so... I'd say that's gonna be the first emote, provided that's doable. I don't know how difficult that would be to make. I have no idea if it would be uh, difficult to make, so... But if it's possible, that would be an awesome one. Also, where did all these bears come from? And why is there only one male? Come on, give us like 10 males, please. One hundred percent beautiful in Archie's wheelhouse. <laughs> okay, Hollow. But I can try two if he's busy. Okay, I will send Archie a message. I will send Archie a message real quickly.
All right, let's see. Send Archie a message. We'll see if Archie's able to do that. Hey, Riptide, you have not missed anything. Wait, did I miss some? Um, did I miss any super chats or anything? Okay, good, we didn't. Always got to check when I tab out because I never know if I was too focused and missed something. Oh. You know, actually, I was right on time. Nathan, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Scare Crew. Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to all my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Hope your day has been going amazingly. What's my favorite trophy? Um, either the Melanistic Pheasant or that Great One Red Deer that I got the other day. Uh, since that was the small wreck, that's what I've been wanting for quite a while, so it's probably one of those. Hey, Reed, nothing too crazy besides a diamond turkey. We got ourselves a random diamond turkey. All right, let's run down to this other lake. It's been a while since we've checked here, so I guess we'll see. Thank you, Nathan. I appreciate that, dude. I'm glad that you have been uh, enjoying the videos. Anyone else agree level 7 red deer look better than level 8 and 9? I like the 9s, to be honest. I like the 7s, but I also like the 8s and the 9s. I guess it depends on which ones. Because I think... Like 50% of the 8s and 9s look really good. And then the other 50% are just okay. Oh no, Carson, that's unfortunate. Like, I, I really like the Big Rack Red Deer. That's my favorite uh, Red Deer Rack of all. Besides the Great One Racks. I definitely like the Great One Racks better, but of the 7s, 8s, and 9s, I think the Big Rack Legendary is my favorite. I asked for 10 males, but a level 10 male would be better. True. True. A level 10 male would be better. Yeah, Riptide. I think for me, it's the bigger, the bigger stags in each of those numbers. The bigger sevens are my favorite of the sevens. The bigger eights are my favorite of the eights. And the bigger nines are my favorite of the nines because they just look really good. Like, uh, the rack that's on my albino level 8 is one of my favorite racks in the entire game for, uh, Red Deer. And I think that's partially because it resembles the Legacy Diamonds. That's actually a really good idea, William. I like that. Hey, I mean, I'll let you go crazy with it, Hall. If there's any that you think would be good, just uh, let me know. If there's any that you think will be good, then you can just include them. And if I like them, I'll uh, toss them in there as well. I, I don't even know how many slots we have. I think we have like four slots, three or four. I can real quickly check the exact amount that we have. And that'll, that'll help with knowing exactly how many we can do here. Let's see, memberships and how many new emotes can we do? Oh my gosh, yeah, we can do four more. We can do four more emotes, guys. That is awesome. We're, we actually have four slots available. 
So yeah, go crazy, Hollow. If there's any that you think will be good, then just go crazy with them and we'll see what ends up working out with the channel. Most of the time, I really enjoy the designs that you do for the emotes, so most likely I'll probably do them. So if you want, you could get like three or four different ones that you think would be cool. And then we'll see which ones end up working the best. Guys, I'm going to save one of those four slots for the, um, the Red Deer emote. But then for the other three slots, besides the Mod Alert one... So yeah, there's two more. After the Mod Alert one and the Red Deer with a monocle... The last two, we still have undecided, so if there's any ideas you have, then go for it. Because I definitely uh, trust your judgment when it comes to emotes. You usually have some pretty good ideas for them. Uh, no, Pedro. You have to count them manually. So there is no way to, like, track how much you've killed. Oh, yeah, we could do a Let's Go emote, because I say Let's Go all the time. I like that one. So, yeah, do do a Let's Go emote, uh, Hollow. A kind of, like, similar style to the Hype emote. With, like, a Let's... Let's and then go underneath it. Because it has to be like a one-to-one -one ratio. So if it was like the two words stacked on top of each other, like let's go. I think that'd be pretty cool. That one should be a pretty easy one to make as well. I would make it, but... Kinda takes out of my recording and grinding time. I'll repay you with some, some Generation Zero time at some point. Nah, Chase and Tail, all I've got is cats. Cats are the way to go. I've always liked uh, cats ever since I was a kid. You know, that's that's a good idea. Are, so, are you saying, like, go as in great one? I like that because then it can be used as a let's go. Like, yeah, let's go. But it could also be used as a there's a great one. Or let's get a great one. That'd be kind of cool. I could be real, Luke. It's hard to say. I mean, some people get lucky with the great ones and others don't. So, you never know. Kind of hard to judge just off of minimal information like that. Level three. You know, if I keep blasting these pronghorn, maybe eventually we'll get a super rare one. I mean, that's basically a super rare right there. He's also super dead. Yeah, true, Hunter. True. There's definitely a lot of different uh, combinations that we can do. All right, later, just a long thank you for dropping by. Uh, Nathan, thank you for the super chat, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, my dude. Very generous of you. Hopefully your day has been going great. Yeah, it's understandable, Floyd. That is understandable. Uh, having a bad experience with an animal when you're young can definitely affect how you view them. What's my favorite diamond or rare? Well, my favorite diamond is red deer and my favorite rare is melanistic red deer. Well, melanistic pheasant actually is my favorite. Melanistic red deer is a close second though. Thank you, Devin. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Happy that you enjoy it. How do you get that gun? This is the 308 AR. It's part of the Modern Rifles Pack.
Got an albino pheasant. Nice, fear. Oh, uh, yeah, the Fabled Spirit is my favorite variation, Mara. I love the Fabled Spirit. The Fabled Chestnut is really nice as well. The Glacier used to be my favorite, but it's kind of uh, gone down in the list a bit for me. I think it's my third favorite now. Spirit is definitely the nicest in my opinion. Level four bear. I think I had multiple bear over here last time I looked, so maybe there's another male. Uh, what do you mean, William? I can't really look up in chat at the moment, so I give you permission to say it again. Because uh, I don't want to tab out of my game at the moment. Are all the guns the same on PC and console? Yes, they are the exact same on all platforms. Every platform has access to every gun. There used to be like exclusive skins for each platform, but uh, now they've kind of made it so they're on everything. Yeah, one of the big things... One of the big things to think about with emotes is... It needs to be visible. It needs to have like visible lettering. Like if it's something that has a word in it, it's got to be visible in a small emote format. So that's one thing to think about. But I, I do know what you mean by like a one with a zero next to it. Honestly, that would be easy if it didn't say trivial. If we don't put trivial on there, then it'll work. If it's just a one with a sticky note and a zero on it next to it, that could work. I do like that idea. We wouldn't be able to do the trivial uh, word, though, because it would take up too much room. But we could do a one with a zero slap next to it on a sticky note. I think that would be a pretty cool one. That would be relatively easy as well, I think. I do like that. I do think that would be a cool one. And that's, a, that's an emote that could be used quite a bit. I mean, there's quite a few times where we see a level one, and they're supposedly just as rare if not rarer than a diamond at least for bear so you find a one and then it's like oh that's basically a great one so i could see that hall of shame indeed riptide that oh yeah that could basically be a hall of shame emote You guys like that? Okay. Yeah, what do you guys think of an emote that is a 1 with a sticky noted 0 next to it? Seems like it would be a pretty cool one. Small male emote? We're actually getting one of those, CG. We are getting... Not only um, a po possibly that uh, one with the zero next to it, but also we're going to be doing a spike red deer with a monocle to commemorate Gerald. The red deer that we kept alive for an entire grind. Nice, CG. Let's hear him, dude. I am all ears. Open to pretty much any ideas for the emotes. Because like I've said, it's you guys that'll be using the emotes, so... I want to make sure that it's not only something that I like, but also something that you guys want to use. That's a seven. Nice. I've never seen one clear over there. Beautiful. Well, we've already got ourselves the Baby Crow emote uh, minion, so I think that's good enough there. Because anything else would be too difficult to put on a small emote. Like the words Crow Family, that's unfortunately a little bit too much for a small emote.
Uh, try not to repeat, Till. You're just gonna get timed out if you're spamming. It is against the rules to spam the same message repeatedly. It's not only obnoxious to everybody else watching, but it, it's not gonna get your question answered. It's not gonna get your message read if you spam it. It's just gonna get you timed out because you're breaking the rules. You may not know it, but... Or you may not realize it, but... Spamming the same message over and over again, it doesn't make people want to read your message. It makes people want to stop seeing it. All it does is clutter up the chat space and make it difficult for other people to get their messages read. A scarecrow emote? I like that. We don't have a scarecrow uh, emote now that I think of it. Wow. Yeah, that might be cool. Uh, where's that level 7? It's over here, right? Hey, Caden, how's it going? Uh, 610, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it, dude. Really appreciate it. Oh, gosh, we're getting attacked by a bear. <laughs> Do you have a wish list of things you want added to the game? Uh, there's definitely a few things that I would love to see. Uh, first of all, I'd, I'd like to see more antlered great ones. I'd like to see non-typicals added. I want a uh, Pier David's Deer. I want a Texas Game Reserve. I'd like to see more customizable guns. And... I'd like to see them get rid of the level system for animals and just make it based off of how large the animal looks and that's kind of how you determine if it's going to be a diamond. I feel like as a, as a, much of a staple of the franchise, or of this game, as the whole level system is, I think over time it's slowly become a little bit more outdated. But I think that's really all that I would add or change. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'd like. Oh, I'd like to see them maybe expand a bit on the guns in the game. We need more lower class weapons. We need more things to compete with the 243. And I feel like right now we haven't really got much that can. Like, it'd be cool to see some smaller caliber rifles that can take classes 3 and 4. Stuff equivalent to the 243. Uh, yeah, Fiora, I've actually found one in multiplayer once, but it was bugged at the time that I found it, so it didn't actually show up as a great one. But I did find, I did technically find a great one in multiplayer before they fixed them. It used to be that if you found a great one in multiplayer, it would show up as a level 3 whitetail with the tiniest antlers possible on a level 3. The antlers would legit be the size of a level 1. And I found that once. But sadly, because they were bugged at the time, didn't get a great one out of it. That's a four. He gets to live. Is there anything else here? This lake's been kind of hit or miss recently. But if they did a tropical map with like tigers or jaguars, that could be cool BP. I couldn't see them doing tigers, but jaguars would be a possibility, I believe. Yeah, Drew, definitely. 224 Valkyrie, yes, Riptide, that is my most wanted uh, small game caliber. By far one of the coolest calibers I've seen. It's supposedly, from what I've heard, because I haven't actually got to shoot one, I'd like to get a 224 Valkyrie at some point, though. 
but uh, it's basically an improved version of the 223. It's basically a 223 with a little bit more power behind it. And I think it would be a great addition. Because a uh, 224 Valkyrie is typically in the AR platform. And since they just added ARs, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be cool price. That'd be cool. Another one that would be nice is a 25 aught 6. 25 aught 6, 7mm aught 8. Those would be a couple really awesome calibers to see in the game. Level 4, bear. These bears are being weird today, man. Yeah, KNX, that'd be awesome. It'd be a good couple maps for sure. Do I have the Gen Zeros? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, well, we can get along with just using the regular Binox, I guess. It's not like we need the night vision ones right now. I'm able to spot these still pretty well. Yeah, exactly, Skunk. It was, uh... It was honestly a good thing that the old Red Raptor was bad at that time. Otherwise, I would have accidentally hit that thing. That is one of the few times where I'm really happy that I missed a shot. Because when I was actually hunting, I didn't even look at the level of that deer. I saw that it had small antlers, so I didn't even bother looking at the level of it. Thankfully, I missed it. Because otherwise, that would have been, like, one of the most unfortunate things ever. Because back when they would show up as a bugged level 3, like when the Great Ones would show up as a level 3 in multiplayer, the host would still see it as a Great One. But anybody else would see it as a bugged level 3. So it would have been very unfortunate if I had actually hit it. Hey, Hermosa, how's it going? Oh, me too, 610. That would be good. I would like to see the clothing be a little bit more useful in the game for sure. I would honestly say that if they kept all the spook radiuses the same that they are right now as the default spook range for using just, like, clothing that doesn't work, but then increased the, um... The noise reduction and visibility reduction of clothing that actually matches the reserve, that would be really awesome. That would be very awesome. Oh, we've already got the M1 Garand. The M1 is already in the game. Oh, got you, Ronald. Well, the game is quite different than what it was back then. The game has improved quite a bit in five years. Now we've got stuff like uh, the M1 Garand. We've got ARs in the game. All that good stuff. A better waterfowl system so all the birds act realistically now. The game has had quite a few improvements in five years. Alright, I don't think we're actually going to find anything here. Uh, we will go reset the time, I think, but let's hit up this, like, one more time. Yeah, having a 9mm or a 10mm would be pretty cool. Uh, no, Nightwolf. This is Silver Ridge Peaks. We're not playing Rev on Thule at the moment because we're currently on the Black Bear grind. Actually, we don't want to reset that yet. Let's just get our binoculars. Let's get the, the night vision binoculars. I'm trying to think of what we can drop, though. 
Guess we can get rid of the Virant and get the handgun instead. Yeah, it's much lighter. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Much better. Ooh, nice, Riptide. That's awesome. Okay, so the last rifle that I bought was a Browning BAR in 7 mil Rem Mag. I would love to see that in game. It's a semi-automatic, um, semi-automatic rifle with an internal magazine. One that you kind of just like press a button and it flopped, it like pops out and kind of like hangs from the gun. But it's a, a semi-automatic 7 mil Remington Magnum and I think that would be a really cool gun. I think that would be such a cool gun to get in Call of the Wild. The gun itself is a beautiful, beautiful rifle. Uh, it's also a very like popular and well-made rifle. The BARs, in my opinion, are some of the, the better Browning rifles. How's your shoulder? I haven't actually got to shoot it yet, uh, Riptide, because a 7 mil Remington Magnum ammo is like through the roof in price and hard to get at the moment. So I haven't got a chance to shoot it yet, but Whenever I'm able to find some ammo that isn't ridiculously priced, then I will start uh, getting it sighted in and stuff. Because I do plan to go hunting in a year or two, hopefully. So as long as I can get things ready before then, then I'll be uh, good to go. Gotta love those through the roof ammo prices right now. But it was one of those things where like, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get a, uh, a BAR. So I took the, uh, took the chances of not being able to get the ammo. I could order it online, true, but it's still like through the roof in price. It's still, like, incredibly expensive for 7 mil rem mag. A lot of people were telling me I should just learn to uh, load my own ammunition. So I might end up having to do that at some point, because it'll be a lot cheaper. I know, right, Potato? You know what's crazy? For a uh, 7 mil rem mag, it's even more. I think it was, like, 70 bucks for a box of 20, which is just ridiculous. I think my next uh, rifle purchase will probably be a 308. Considering 308 is a lot more plentiful, at least around here, compared to a lot of other calibers. I see 308, 30 out 6, and 223, probably more than anything else around here. I even see like 224 Valkyrie ammunition more than I do 7 mil. 7 mil gets. Swiped up really quickly because of how popular it is. Quite unfortunate for me. <laughs> hey, Moritz, we haven't got anything too insane. We did get a diamond turkey. Other than that, nothing crazy. Oh, nice, Caleb. That's awesome. Yeah, potato. It's ridiculously priced. Yeah, Billy, that's that's pretty expensive. Right, I think what I'm gonna do is next time that I buy a rifle, I'm gonna see what the cheapest and most plentiful calibers are at the time, because that's probably gonna be a little bit better if I want something that's not gonna cost me an arm and a leg to sight in. Hopefully, Jason, hopefully the great one will be close. This is a mythical right here, so will he respawn as the great one? Who knows? I hope so. I hope he does. Do you get more diamonds on multiplayer? Um, if you know what you're doing, you can. The good thing about multiplayer is every time you join a multiplayer session, it's a different map. 
there's going to be different trophies on it. And if you're lucky enough, you get into some servers that are virtually unsearched. And so if there's if they're virtually unsearched, if you manage to get into a server that doesn't have a lot of need zones discovered, there's always chances that you will have got into a server that has some initial spawn diamonds or rares on it. And I believe that is what makes multiplayer hunting so good for diamonds and rares. You just got to search for the servers that seem unsearched, which would usually mean very minimal need zones on the map. And then just go to all the hotspots and see if you can find anything good. If you don't, move on to the next one. A uh, 9 mil's not too expensive. I see a lot of 9 mil. It's definitely not as cheap as it used to be, but it's uh, one of the cheaper rounds. But that's probably just because it's produced a lot more, considering it's uh, one of the most popular calibers. In fact, I do believe it is the most popular handgun caliber. That's what my handgun is, is 9 mil. I've already done that, Cooper. I've done two videos on the channel with Flinter and like three live streams with him. And then I did a video with DD33 hunting the pigs on Tiawaroa. Oh, nice, Riptide. I don't know if Oregon allows the use of hollow points for uh, hunting. I believe in Oregon you have to use, like, the, uh, just normal, um, just normal lead tip ones. You can't use, like, hollow points or jacketed rounds. It's got to be just your basic lead rounds. Unfortunately. Oregon's got some weird, uh, laws for hunting. You also can't have, like, more than five rounds in a semi-automatic rifle when you're hunting. Unfortunately, we got some strange laws when it comes to hunting. Uh, Jana, thank you for the 11 months as a member. Approaching that 12 months. That's crazy. It's hard to believe it's almost been a year already. How have you been? Hopefully you've been doing good. Yeah, Riptide, I wish, uh, I wish everybody's hunting laws were like Texas's laws. But unfortunately here in Oregon, you're pretty limited on what you can hunt with. I believe shotguns, you're only allowed three shells. If you're using a semi-automatic. And then for rifles, I believe it's five in a semi-automatic. So like, for example, when I took my AR out to go hunting the very first time, I had to get a five round magazine. That was all that I was allowed to use. Twenty-one eighty, not bad. Thank you, Millers. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Nice, Jana. That's awesome. Oh, wow, Dustin. That is very low. Although, I guess in most cases, you really only need one shot when you're hunting if you're a good shot. So I guess when it comes to like deer hunting, it's not necessarily a big deal that you can only carry three or five or whatever it may be. But, uh, it's just a little strange to me. Yeah, I've heard that, Luke. I've heard Montana is pretty uh, lenient when it comes to hunting laws. Hey, Briley, how's it going? How many great ones have I shot? Two red deer and four white tail. Not, not this stream, but in total. Man, I wish I had killed six great ones this stream. That'd be great. Can we hit it? Probably not. Yeah, didn't get it. This, like, actually hasn't had a black bear in a while. Couple runs since I've seen a bear here, which is a little strange. Wow, Jana, that's crazy. 
If only it was like that in Oregon. Here in Oregon, you have to... You have to get the uh, CCW. Got to pass the class and everything. And I believe you also have to be 21. It's one of the downsides to living in Oregon, but... The state itself is so beautiful that I have a hard time thinking about living anywhere else. I know we haven't taken Gertie down yet. Old Gertie is still chilling on Tiawaroa, just waiting to join her great one in the mount. Got two great one bear and a whitetail. Nice, that's awesome. Congratulations. Oh gosh, Chase and Tail, that is... Ooh, 7 to $11 a shot. Yikes. Well, I guess I won't be getting a 338 anytime soon. Because that, that sounds like... That's, that's ridiculous pricing. My gosh. That is insane. Nice, Barbara. That's awesome. Wait, level 9 elk. Elk don't go to 9. Hey, Hillbilly Rocks, how's it going, dude? Oh no, Mullet Bros. I had that happen with a diamond recently, too. Like, uh, four or five days ago, I had that happen with a diamond. I feel your pain, man. It's, uh, not fun when it does that. Diablo has had quite a few crashing issues, unfortunately. However, I noticed the more I hunted it for Red Deer, the less crashing I was having. I don't know why, but... I don't really crash on Tiawaroa the last couple days. Like, the first two or three days that I played it, I was crashing left and right. But now I'm barely crashing at all on it. It's strange how just all of a sudden the crashes have, uh... subsided a little bit. I wonder if it has to do with just the Red Deer spreading out more? Maybe there was just too many Red Deer condensed in an area and it was causing crashes. I suppose that could be it. It's hard to tell, like, what causes crashes. I imagine it had to do with the Red Deer, though. Because it was always at, like, the Pukimaro Lakes that I would crash. And they were by far the most, like, chock full of Red Deer Lakes on the whole map. Oh no, Leaky, that's not fun, dude. That's not fun at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you, Lars. I hope that you're doing well as well. We got any more big males? Nope. Just that level six. Oh no, Minion. That's unfortunate, dude. You know, for the most part, I've been pretty lucky over the years. I haven't really lost too many trophies to crashes. The only ones I've lost was that level 9 red deer that would have made diamond. And then I also lost a level 3 turkey and multiplayer once because of my game crashing. I believe it was on Rancho. Uh, possibly Harrison. We could definitely see Bigfoot coming back to the channel. What am I going to hunt in Oregon? Most likely black-tailed deer will be the next thing I hunt here. How hot is it in Oregon? It's not too bad at the moment. It got up to 90 like last week. But it hasn't been as bad recently. Recently it's been like mid to mid 70s to mid 80s. Turning 20 tomorrow and don't want to be old. Any words of wisdom? Um, prepare for your future. I guess that's the, the best, the best advice I can give you. You never know when something unexpected could happen. So always prepare for your future, you know, always be thinking about what you're going to be doing in a couple of years. Prepare things like savings accounts, save up money, things like that. Cause you never know when stuff could change. I'd say that's my best advice, is always prepare for the future. Hundred and nine, Smiley? Oh my gosh, I don't know how I would survive. 
It got up to like 114 last year here in Oregon, and I about died that day. It was terrible. I couldn't imagine, like, having that regularly. Nice, Seven. I uh, know I've never been to Maine. I've only been to, um, Utah, California, Washington, and Idaho. But I was only driving through Idaho to get to Utah, so I've never actually, like, visited Idaho. Hello, little bears, where is our big male, huh? Nothing? I mean, we might as well take him out, too. Nice NPS, that's awesome, man. Diamond reindeer are pretty rare. Those things troll a lot. Uh, maybe at least that'd be cool, I think. Oh no, Hunter Web. That'd be awful, dude. I don't even want to think about having to work out in that heat. That'd be terrible. That can't be healthy either. Like, doing any type of strenuous workout in 100 plus degree temperatures, that is just... That's not, not cool. <laughs> that's dangerous. Oh, gotcha, Chase and Tail. Yeah, that makes sense. That would make sense. Meant 102 and felt like 112. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times when it's super hot, it does uh, tend to feel hotter than it actually is. Jeez, CP3, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I'm glad it I'm glad it doesn't regularly jump over a hundred here. We get like maybe one week out of the year where it hits a hundred. Thankfully it doesn't usually happen more than once a year. One thing about Oregon, though, is it is very humid here when it does get hot. Because Oregon is one of the more rainy states, you do get a lot of humidity, which does make it quite miserable. So even though it may not get as hot, I think the humidity makes it worse. Because it's not a dry heat, like, it's a really uncomfortably humid heat. But then we have, like, months and months of rain as well. Oh, wow, Billy. Also, how's it going, man? How you doing? Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're doing better than this turkey's about to be doing. Nothing more satisfying than the charging handle getting racked back. Love it. All female bears, okay. Quite unfortunate. I don't think we're gonna see any males here. It's been kind of male list the last few runs. Oh yeah, Florida humidity probably would be pretty bad. Yeah, Bend is pretty cool, Quinn. I've been there a couple times. It is a pretty cool area. That's unfortunate, Vito. Sounds miserable, man. Level 4 female. Yeah, I don't really see anything too notable. 
Nothing interesting over here. You pronghorn, but that's about it. One fifteen, jeez, Billy. Uh, let's actually go to this lake, and then I think we will head over to Tiawaroa. Because we've been bear grinding for over an hour and a half now. Or right around an hour and a half. So I think it's about time we jump over to some red deer hunting. As the red deer grind has been going way better than the bear grind. And I've got some pretty insane stuff to show you guys on Tiawaroa. The way I've got my zones now is crazy. I mentioned this earlier, but for those that were not here when I talked about it, in Tiawaroa, I've got it to where a couple of my lakes have nothing but level fours and below. But then there's also a couple lakes that have pretty much only seven, eights, and nines. It's crazy. And I just kill those seven, eights, and nines, and they pretty much always come back as sevens, eights, and nines. And hopefully a 10 fabled soon. That'd be nice to see. Couple sevens here. Uh, not yet, Sammy, but we will today. Oh gosh, Hunter, that's rough. Nice, Jacob. Yeah, Columbia, I am going for another great one, Red Deer, because I want to see if we're going to continue the good luck. Tiawaro has been so good to me recently that I just want to keep that luck going. Teleporting bears, the worst kind of bears. Is there really nothing else to shoot? Was it just those two level sevens? I think it was. Uh, Riptide, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. If you could hunt anything IRL, what would it be? Also, would you consider making a video of your gun collection? I probably wouldn't do a gun collection video just because of how YouTube is with their guidelines. Um, YouTube can be pretty um, vague with their guidelines when it comes to guns, so... I probably won't do that. It'd be just a good way to get the channel demonetized. And I don't want to risk that considering this channel is literally my livelihood. If you could hunt anything IRL, what would it be? Uh, definitely a New Zealand red deer hunt. That's my dream hunt. Thank you for the super chat though. Really appreciate it. But yeah, I don't think I'll do a gun video at any point. And if I did, it would probably be on the second channel. Because I don't want to risk uh, this channel. YouTube can be very back and forth with what they do with uh, gun videos. Negative 56, my gosh, pirate. Alright, let's switch over to T. Avaroa. Uh, no, Parker, I still get Mule Deer Outpost Bear quite a bit. Yeah, Riptide, exactly. I can't risk the channel, unfortunately. I'd love to make a video showing off all of them, but... I don't want to risk the channel. Because we've, we've seen what's happened to some of the big uh, gun YouTubers. Level four, there's a mythical. Little level four. Ah, uh, whenever ammo goes down in price, bro, bro. <laughs> whenever ammo goes down in price. Because right now, for the rifle that I just got, 
or not just got, but the one that I got a couple months ago, ammo's like $70 for 20 rounds. And I don't exactly want to be spending 70 bucks for 20 rounds at the moment. So whenever ammo goes down in price, I probably will. Because right now it's just ridiculously expensive for ammo. Alright, only one stag here as of now because we just switched the time. Sadly, just killed a troll red deer. Unfortunate, Nathan. Unfortunate, man. Um, I don't know, Quandale. I don't know. I've never tried that. Yeah, bro, bro. What gun is it that I got? Uh, the last one that I got was a Browning BAR. I forgot the model name, but it's the, it's whichever model is made in 1963. I think it's called a Mark II. I think it's a Mark II Browning BAR, if I'm not mistaken. There's a seven. I used to, uh, Riptide. I used to do it. I golfed quite a bit growing up with my, uh, dad. It's in, um, 7 mil Rem Magnum, uh, Deer Killer. 7 millimeter Remington Magnum. Which is why the ammo is, like, ridiculously expensive. Nice, Zorkeen, that's awesome. It was one of those things where, like, I knew the ammo was gonna be pricey, but I couldn't pass up the rifle because it's a... It is such a beautiful rifle and you just don't see them that often. And it was in incredibly good condition as well. Just one of those things where you make the sacrifice of pricing to get something that's truly an amazing, amazing rifle. <laughs> Definitely not going to do a Hirschfelden grind, John. I have heard that Hirschfelden is still not a fun map to hunt. I've had quite a few people tell me that the update did not really make Hirschfelden good, sadly. So I'm, I'm not going to torture myself with a Hirschfelden grind. Jeez, Deer Slayer, that's wild. Oh, oh gosh. Calm down. Jeez. Crazy does. Or crazy hinds. Okay, that's a five, so he needs to go down. Hey, William, I'm doing good. Doing very well today. Our gas price is pretty, pretty terrible. <laughs> They're pretty terrible down here. Ah, uh, maybe great. We might do that at some point. Once we uh, get that black bear great one, we're going to start spreading out the grinding quite a bit. Nice, Deer Slayer. That's awesome. I bet that's a pretty cool thing to have. Gosh, Billy, it's close to that here. I think it's like 550 in most places around here.
Definitely, Billy. This is definitely one of those times where it'd be nice to have an electric car. Definitely uh, save some money on gas, that's for sure. Alright, Hunter, show us the way of the low bleed rate. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. 380? That's not bad, Tragic. Oh. That's not terrible. I mean, it's still worse than it was, but it's not terrible. I'm not sure, QCK. I gotta record it first. My next recording day is Saturday, I believe. Or no, Wednesday will be my next recording day. I forgot that it's Monday. So in two days, I'll record it, and then it'll probably be out the day after. Provided everything goes to plan. In Sweden, we have like 11 to $12 a gallon. Jeez, that is crazy. That is, that is expensive. We might need to end up getting another stand over here. That's the three, there's a six, and that's a seven. Alright, so now that we got some of them to render in, let's head back to the stand. And also, this is one of the lakes that's been spawning a ton of big males on one side, and then nothing but small males on the other side. So, this side of the lake that we're looking at now, this is where all of my big males are spawning on this lake. Every single run, all the big males are over here. Uh, yeah, Deer Slayer, I've seen it a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. And then what we're actually going to do since, uh, the way that these red deer arrive at these lakes has kind of changed a bit. We're actually going to walk around instead of fast traveling immediately. Because there's some that don't render in, and then there's also some that drink in this corner, and they'll spook if I fast travel from that spot. So I got to move a little bit further over. I'm probably going to have to change my tent placement at some point. Because they have moved around quite a bit. But right over here in this little, um... I don't know what this would be. A little cove coming off of this uh, lake. There is quite a few large males that tend to chill there. Some of them don't arrive till later in the run though, so they also just might not be there at the moment. Uh, Mudco, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it, dude. Welcome back to the channel. 60 more days till hunting season in Minnesota starts. Nice. Wait, is that Minnesota or Mississippi? I can't remember. What is MS? Is that Minnesota or Mississippi? I think that's Minnesota. I'm sure you guys will let me know. <laughs> but thank you for the super chat, Mud. I really appreciate it, dude. Really appreciate it. It is Mississippi? Okay. I couldn't remember if it was Mississippi or Minnesota. Anyway, this is the herds that I have pretty much only level 4s in. Pretty much all of the red deer in these herds are level 4s. So we got a 4 there, we got a 4 there, a 4 there, another 4, a 3. And then if we go over here, we got a 3, a 4, a 4, a 4. And because I've got so many fours here, it's causing a couple of my other lakes to only have big males. And honestly, I'm really liking this. Ooh, mythical. Nice. Like, all the single stags over here seem to be pretty big. And then the ones in the herds are staying level four and below. And this has actually been working in my favor quite a bit. Because it's made it so I don't have to grind those zones that often. And so I'm thinking about moving my setup around slightly... Because I don't necessarily need to hunt anything over here anymore because it's all small males. So I could put my tent like over here. Where that big mythical is. MO is Missouri? Okay, I thought it was one of those. I couldn't remember if it was MO or MS. 
there any more over here that we shot? I think we have one more. I think we have one more to claim. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's right. The other one was over here. Okay, so let's go there. Well, the reason I have a lot of low levels, uh, Nova, is because I've been using the herd management technique. So I haven't been shooting anything level 4 or below. And so naturally a lot of level 4, naturally a lot of level 4s are starting to build up on the map. There's a 7. That guy was late to his zone. Um, I'm gonna wait for him to come over to his zone. That way I don't have to run as far to get him. Uh, yeah, Riley, I remember you. Welcome. Minnesota is MN, MI is Michigan, MO is Missouri, and MS is Mississippi. Okay. Thank you. Good to know. I knew most of those, but I could not remember which one MS was. Smoked him. What just happened to my map? Yeah, Price, I remember you. Uh, not necessarily, Noah, but I think in most cases that will be how it is. I'd say it's pretty rare to go a run without seeing a max weight estimate. And if you don't, there's a good chance you just missed it. Because you do have quite a few situations in Call of the Wild where some animals just don't show up to their zones at the same time others do, so you might have missed it. Or they go to a different area than what you've been hunting. Hey, Wim, how's it going? I don't know if I have, Gray. I've seen level 1 and 2 black bear, but I don't think I've seen 1 and 2 male grizzlies. But then again, I don't hunt grizzly that often. Hey, Pac-Man, we got a diamond turkey earlier. Another red deer. They just keep on showing up. You see, this is why I love these lakes. The Pukimaro lakes are just so loaded. Even after we've gone back and forth between these spots multiple times, every time I look back, there's another one walking in that is of the estimate that we can shoot for this grind. We need to sneak our way over, though. Red Deer drink at 6.30, uh, go fast. Nothing yet, Crow, though. We got a diamond turkey, but no big Red Deer as of now. We did get a nice mythical, but other than that, nothing crazy. Bear grind didn't go super great. We only got two mythicals and then a bunch of small males. Alright, I think it is time to turn this Red Deer into Swiss cheese. <laughs> ah, never gets old. Never gets old. How many kills did it take for the Red Deer Piebalds? Um, well, I mean, all rares are pretty random. But I think we got our first Piebald of the grind at like... Maybe 100, 150 kills? Didn't take super long, but it's kind of hard to predict when rares will spawn. Are you talking about our great one that changed fur type after the update, uh, Trev Dog? Yeah, that was very unfortunate. Happened to quite a few content creators after the Rancho update. One of the unfortunate bugs in Call of the Wild's history. Okay, we can take the five down. Okay, just the five this run. Just this five. Oh, actually, there's a six. 
Thank you for uh, stepping out, buddy. Okay, we need to get over there and try to get another shot into him. Uh, Trip, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Do you have to have all of your red deer zones for reds to spawn on Tay? And is blonde rare for brown bear? I don't think blonde is rare. But then again, I don't really know. I haven't hunted them enough. But I don't think it is. And no, you don't need every zone to get a great one red deer. I didn't have all of my zones when uh, my great ones spawned the other day. In fact, some of my best zones I didn't even have discovered. Uh, since I got that great one, I found one area that is absolutely loaded uh, that we're going to be going to next, actually. All right, before we go claim this other one, let's shoot the ones across because... Oh, I forgot. He's floating. So we got across anyway. But this is, this is pretty insane, guys. This shoreline that we are looking at right now is where the majority of my large males are spawning right now. For some reason... Like, a lot of my big ones are spawning over here. We got a 7 there. We got a 5 there, which is something that we will be shooting. Uh, we've got a 6 there, a mythical there. We've got a 6 there, a 5 there. And then we've got... Of course, the one time I say that the big males are over here, that's when they're not here. Really, Call of the Wild? Really? Oh, well. Some of them are definitely late because I'm missing, like, a full herd. But this is typically where all of my big males are. But of course, the time that I say that that's where it is, they decide to not be here. <laughs> yes, yeah, CR, we already hunted black bear. We did like an hour and 30 minutes of black bear hunting. No luck, sadly. Nice, we got vitals. And then those two get to live. Oh yeah, here we go. There is another herd moving. We got him as well. So there may not have been a ton of sevens, eights, and nines this time, but there was definitely quite a few that we could shoot. Uh, no outdoor gamer. I shoot everything level five and above. I don't shoot the fours or anything lower than four. Believe we should have one or two over here to pick up. Uh, no, Gage. If you're in a stand, you will not delete zones for, I believe, 15 or 16 kills. As long as you're in a stand, you're fine. Hopefully I hit this one good. It's kind of looking like I didn't. If that's the case, that's really unfortunate. Ah, uh, maybe spine? Kind of looking like a spine shot. Why is the member count at zero? Oh, it's probably bugging out. It's probably bugged out a little bit. YouTube does that from time to time. It should say like 250. Or 246 or something like that. Nice, Asian Peach Feathers. That's awesome. Congrats on that. Alright, later, Michael. Thanks for dropping by, dude. Thank you for dropping by. Hey, PJ. That's unfortunate, Arrow. That's been my luck with the Eurasian teal. Oh, flying red deer. Of course, two of them are floating. I've noticed there's so many floaters this update. They just love the water, apparently. What black bear, great one, fur type are you hoping for? I really want to get the fabled spirit or the fabled chestnut. But honestly, at this point, I'll take any of them.
probably only gonna grind for one, so whichever one I end up getting is uh, what we end up getting, I guess. Because I don't know if I could bring myself to do another bear grind. Yeah, same for the most part, Tragic. Besides the Widgeon, I've had pretty rough luck with birds on Revon Tuli. The Widgeon was like the only diamond I got as an initial spawn. When it comes to birds, at least. Or I guess when it comes to waterfowl, because we did get a initial spawn black grouse, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. I just realized, I think I'm supposed to put a tent over here. Yeah, I was going to put a tent here and then I forgot to do it. Okay, we need to figure out what's the best place to put this. I'm going to assume like right here. I forgot to place this last night. There we go. So now we can quickly check, or we can quickly claim everything over here whenever we kill them. Probably around 740 or 750, uh, Trev Dog. If I were to take a guess, probably around there. Nice, Luke. That's pretty lucky, dude. That's a big Mela. That is a big Mela. Great one next rotation for sure. I hope so. We still got a couple areas to go to, so I guess we'll see. How can I support other than memberships? Can't join because I have no credit card or PayPal. Well, one of the biggest ways to support any creator on YouTube price is just by leaving a like and comment on their videos. Because that is what YouTube uses to decide if they want to recommend the video to other people that may not be familiar with the channel. So that really is like the biggest help of anything. Leaving likes and comments is very helpful to all creators on YouTube, not just me. Yeah, that happens real, uh, Deer Slayer. That will happen from time to time. Oof, there we go. Here's where our big males are. This is the other zone that shows a ton of big males pretty much every run. This has been an insane zone for me. And this is also why I didn't make a guide before getting the great one. Because I didn't even know about this zone. I wanted to be more thorough with like learning all the zones for them. So I could find what is the best of the best. And this zone is insane. Like this little river zone right here, guys. Absolutely ridiculously good. I absolutely love this location more than any other location on the map right now. That's a five, so okay, both of those are fives. We can shoot everything here except for the four. I kind of need them to give me the correct angle though. One of those should have been good, right? I guess it's going down. Yeah, he'll go down. And then the others are not spooked yet. Now we just fast travel over here and we're good to go. What side of the river do I have zones on? Uh, right here. We have two zones right here, and then also red deer zones right here. I don't have any down here, but they can be in that area. I've seen quite a few people get them in that area. Oh no. We got floaters! We got floaters! Eh, we'll get those others first. Ooh, that's a good mythical. Let's try to swipe up this guy as he goes by. Come on. No. Oh, yep, we got him. There we go. Nice mythical. Yeah, BP there is. There's a really good zone here. Uh, let's look back. There should be even more rendered in. Yeah, that four wasn't rendered before. We got a five. We got a mythical. We got that little three and another three.
Uh, yeah, Igni, do hunt in real life. Hey, tall boy, how's it going? Uh, from what I've seen, Taden, it is pretty difficult to get the Great One on Mississippi just because they're pretty inconsistent. They move around a lot, which makes it kind of difficult to get a, a consistent grind going. Uh, possibly, Gavin. We could do that, maybe. Where's the other floater? Or was it just him? Actually, we got the other floater, didn't we? Yeah, we got that mythical that was floating. So there's only two we need to shoot in this zone this time around. Very nice mythical, though. Sadly, we didn't hit him very good. There we go. That at least got him down. Nice, Price. I don't think it matters, Noah, but I would recommend picking them up because you get a ton of money from them. So I definitely do recommend picking them up. Are you shooting single stags? Yes, I am. I'm shooting every of every one of the single stags that's above level four. Regardless of where they are, if it's above level four, it goes down. Uh, no, PJ. There is no albino mallard, unfortunately. I've always found it kind of strange that there isn't. It is, Lux. It's definitely very fun. I love using the 300 on them because it gets them down so quickly. Yeah, Carson, we're going for another great one, Red Deer, again. Because of how quickly we got that last one, I wanted to continue the grind and see if we could get another one. Uh, there is a Mela for Mallards, uh, PJ. They do have a Mela. Level 6 came back from that 7. What's my favorite great one? I like the Red Deer the most. Whoa! Calm down, buddy! It's not playtime. Can't be bouncing around. <laughs> I don't know what I just watched, but that was interesting. That was very interesting, guys. These red deer. I don't know what they've been doing, but... Something weird is happening with them. Nice, we got a seven. And a mythical, too. Beautiful. Love to see it. What? That was weird. I don't know how that missed. I guess maybe he moved as I shot? That was strange. That was very strange. Oh, no worries, Elite. And I've been doing pretty good. Been having a fun time grinding the Red Deer since the update. Nice, James. That's awesome, dude. Hopefully he's been enjoying the game.
A not really outdoors family. We got a diamond turkey, but other than that, we haven't got anything crazy. I would say it's up to you, uh, Killcomped. Both Rev on Thule and Rancho are good. I haven't grinded on Rev on Thule or Rancho since the update, so... I'm just going off of what other people have told me, but both still seem pretty good. Nice, Chope. Where am I now? The top left lake on Tiawaroa. Right over here is where we were just at. Later, PJ. Oh, you do, Billy? Have you played since the update? Because there is a ton of good red deer now. Killed my first great one today. It was a white tail scored 413.2. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, if you're feeling like Rev, then go for it, uh, Killcomped. Rev does seem like it's very solid for them. I know Kill Clinton's been doing a grind on Rev on Thule for them, and he said that it's pretty good. So I imagine it is a pretty decent map to do it on. From what I've heard, Leighton is okay now as well. Okay, just that one here. Gotcha, Billy. Well, with the current update, Tiawaroa is like so far ahead of all the other maps for Red Deer that... I really don't recommend grinding anything but Tiawaroa for a great one red deer now. There's just so many red deer in such a small area. I have heard that Parquet is decent now though, and that Quattro is not very good. Oh, are you floating? Oh, it's not floating. We're lucky. It's not floating. It, it almost started floating, but it's still just chilling there. That could have been bad. Yeah, Billy, they do. They're daytime now. And they also made them even more plentiful at the Good Lakes. Not only is it daytime, but they're also just covered. They're absolutely covering these lakes. I've got five zones at that one. I've got five zones at that one. Four zones here. Well, technically five because I keep deleting that one. And then four down here. Four between these two spots on the river. Like, it's just so insane now. And then up at this top left one, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six zones. Like, there's just so many red deer in so few locations that you can just speed through all of them. Yeah, the item wheel is a very good addition, uh, Lux. It's probably one of my favorite quality of life changes they've ever made with Call of the Wild. I think it was a very good addition. Is that a level 9? I think that might be a troll 9. Can't see though. Can't quite see what it is. Whoa, 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 whoa! We got Red Deer over there again? And there is, uh, there's old Gertie. We'll have to take her down soon. We'll probably take her down this run, actually. Big ol' seven. Alright, let's get these down. Gosh, three I can take down. Um, we should be able to do that without deleting zones. They're kind of tucked away, though. These over here are new, however. I have not had red deer there in ages.
We'll just have to do what we can. Can we get this guy? Yes, we can. Perfect. Ah, it's a mythical. Okay. I thought maybe it would be a troll nine, but it is a mythical. Uh-oh. He's gonna run a long ways, unfortunately. Probably should have waited till I had a better angle, but it is what it is. How bad's the crash issue? Um, I don't even know anymore. Like, it was crashing really bad the first two days for me. I think I crashed probably eight times between those two days. But then since then, it's been like maybe a max of one a day. I don't know what has changed for me, but all of a sudden I'm not crashing nearly as much on Tiawaroa, so... I don't even know what was causing the issue or what fixed it. I- I spoke too soon. I just crashed. <laughs> oh my gosh, that could not have been better timing. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Right as I'm saying, the crashing's been better for me. <laughs> Call the wild timing, guys. Call the wild timing. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was hilarious. Can't believe that just happened. Right as I'm saying that it's been better for me. Oh yeah, I was scared too, Jay. I, w I was scared of losing my great one when I found it. Because of the crashing issues, I was very scared that I would lose it. I totally get that. Well. The question is, did it count those uh, ones that we just killed or... Did it count them as not being shot? Okay, so it definitely did count those as dead because that's a new red deer. That's a nice mythical. That's probably my favorite mythical rack, to be honest. I love the way that one looks. Yeah, that was crazy timing. That was uh, pretty wild. Hilarious, though. Another mythical. My gosh. So we got two very nice mythicals here. You know, luckily we hadn't shot old Gertie yet, otherwise that would have been quite unfortunate to lose her. We did get one five to go back there. Okay, he's moving a little bit. Did we get him good? Yes, we did. Nice. Ooh, we're stuttering again. Come on, don't crash on me. Don't crash again. Would be quite unfortunate. I am thinking about maybe moving another tent because I would like to get a tent right here so that I can claim these. I don't know. We'll have to kind of think of what's the best positioning. What the best positioning will be for this lake. Definitely a couple things I should probably move around. Now that my zones have changed a bit. Oh, really, Jace? That's strange. You should be able to. And it's floating. Bro, really? You gonna float on me? Not cool, dude. Not cool. Yes, Deer Slayer. That is, uh, that is exactly who Gertie is. Gertrude, the piebald red deer. We named her the first day of streaming the red deer grind. And I told everybody that we would take her down and put her with our great one red deer whenever we got the great one red deer. And now that we've got it, whenever she shows up again, we'll take her down. Love seeing all these mythicals, though. This is a great start to this run. Hey, Joshua, how's it going, dude? 
Only 105, Sammy? Wow. That's a quick grind. 105 kills is a super quick great one grind. Uh, Red Deer Drink at 6.30 on Tiabaroa now, Ben. All right, let's head down to the Pukimaro Lakes. We got like an hour left of drink time. Since we only have an hour before we got to reset the time, I think I'll just go to the best of the best locations. Come on, render in for me. There we go, there's a six. Uh, yeah, Brandon, you can get great ones on all platforms. That was a red deer. And it spooked. So, I think we might need to start going to this tent first. Because I just realized we're spooking the ones over here from this area. So, if we start over there, that actually might allow us to see more red deer before they spook off. Yeah, because now that one just rendered in. Okay, we definitely need to start going to that tent first. That's a good seven. Anything else going to render in? Yep, another seven. Love to see it. I need to get a stand, like, right on this tree. Just put a tree stand right there. I think that'll be perfect, actually. There. Should be dead now. Nice, Randall. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on that albino. Probably gonna be... Oh. Oh, we do have a seven there. I was gonna say it's probably all gonna be fours. But there actually is one seven that's moved over there now. Good to see. Oh my gosh, there's actually multiple shooters on that side now. Should be primarily small ones now, though. Yeah, there's the rest of our fours. So we did get a couple sevens to respawn over there now. Another? Yeah, that's a three. He doesn't get shot. I mean, there definitely could be, Lang. There definitely could be a legendary hiding somewhere. It's hard to say. We won't know until we find it. And to be honest, I would switch anyway, Nathan. Because there is nothing that really says a certain amount of kills will be better than starting fresh on a map. Like, the numbers that you've killed isn't what gets you the great one. It's, you know, sheer random chance and luck and maybe a little bit of herd management mixed in to improve your odds. So honestly, starting a fresh grind on Tiawaroa isn't going to, like, it's not going to make it take any longer to get the great one. It'll still come whenever it was going to. And honestly, I'd say that it's beneficial to grind on Tiawaroa, even if you started on another map, because this map is just so much more insane for Red Deer than any of the other maps. So I do think it's worth, even if you've already been grinding on another map. Hey, Pops Pistols, how's it going? Real quickly while we're here, let's put away the tent and grab a tree stand. Because I want to drop a stand right over here. Let's pick up our sevens, though, first. Because we do have two sevens to claim.
What's the last super rare that I've shot? The last one that I killed was a level 3 piebald diamond whitetail. Yeah, just a line. It's still going. It is still going. Grinding those red deer. I do have a YouTube short that's going to be coming out at 1, so 30 minutes from now, but I think for the most part we're going to grind as long as I can today. We'll grind until I start getting hungry for some lunch. It happens, Vinx. A lot of it is luck of the draw. I've had some unfortunate luck with certain rares, like Melanistic Red Deer for the longest time just would not show up for me. Which one of these trees will be better? To be honest, I think that one will. So let's take this down. Put it up here. Let's see what we can see from here. Oh yeah, that's great. That is amazing. I can even see over there, kind of. To be honest, I got an idea. I got an idea, guys. This might be incredible if it works. Will I be able to see all the way over there from here? Ah, so close. There's got to be one where I can see all the zones. I want to get into one of the trees that's super high up. We'll try this one. It's not as high, but... We can kind of see them from here. Ah, for the most part it works, I guess. I'm wondering where I can remove a tent to put another here. Because I want to get a third tent at this lake now. Uh, just to help with speeding up the claiming process. I think we will move this over here. Yeah, because we can still see... Oh, that's a mythical. This is why I love this lake. We took like two seconds to set up a stand and there's already a mythical respawn. I love it. It's so good. Already a mythical over there. I'm not sure, Joshua. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. It's hard to say. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. Come on. We get can we get it? Come on. Don't don't no. Well, we got ourselves a floater. Once again. Another floater. Unfortunate. Okay, so we do have maxed out tents. Where can we remove one, do you think? Where do you guys think we can remove a tent? Trying to get the most efficient setup for picking them up. As we can possibly get. I'll put it right there so it's slightly closer to that area. Alright, we're gonna go down to the other lake while we wait for that guy to float. Hey, Borgar, how's it going? Well, you don't need the tripods, Ethan, but it definitely makes it easier because you don't have to worry about deleting zones as much. Which is why I tend to put tripods and stuff all over. Because it reduces the hunting pressure from everything you kill. Which is very helpful when you're grinding. Seven and six. We've got a four, a seven, a six. Okay, so we got a few we can take out here.
There's one over there, apparently, too. I uh, know so far the turkey has been the only uh, cool thing we've got today, unfortunately. Uh oh, I couldn't shoot. I, I tried to click again and it wouldn't let me. Did we get vitals? Nope. We did not. Unfortunate. It's past the early drink time's end, so they might start moving out. I'm also getting a lot of stuttering, which is really unfortunate. Uh, we haven't yet, Jacob. Uh, we crashed when we were about to. And she hasn't come back yet. We will soon, though. Soon we will take her out. Level 5, and then the 6 is up here. Yeah, there it is. Nice, Jay. Hopefully you end up getting one. Hopefully you end up getting a Tiawaro a great one. It's been very good to me, so hopefully it'll be super good to you as well. It hasn't, like, just been the great one either. Like, I've had tons of diamonds, trolls, rares off of this grind. Just as a whole, Tiawaro has been nuts for red deer. And also for, uh, dancing floating red deer as well. <laughs> Uh, we're currently on Tiawaroa Hunter. Grab as many of these as we can. I think both of these floated, so yeah. That's a little bit unfortunate. Well, while we're waiting for those to float, we'll go collect this one that floated. Because <laughs> it should be over here now. What? What? It? I'm confused. How is it over there? It was floating to the other side. That is so strange. Hey, KC, how's it going? You joined just in time to see my my beautiful red deer on Tiawaroa. I've got this grind to a point where, like, all my big males are at a couple spots. It's been kind of crazy. I've got it to the point where a lot of my herds are just level 4s, but the ones that aren't level 4s are, like, all level 7 and above for the most part. With a few 6s and 5s spread in. It's been nuts. Nice, KC. Nice. You should share some of those eggs with me, man. Getting hungry over here. Alright, let's go see if these have floated. Probably not. Nerd alert is a new emote? I mean, we could do a nerd emote, I guess. Eh, probably not, though. Where are these stags that were floating? Did they literally vanish? I mean, did they go to like a random shoreline like the others? They might have. I'm so confused. Where did they go? That is so bizarre. Where did those red deer float to? Guess we'll never know. That's so weird. Oh, nice, Simon. Two's pretty good. 
Yeah, eggs are great. Especially scrambled with ketchup or barbecue sauce. Fantastic. So, so good. Alright, time to reset the time. Although, we might be able to get to this zone before they leave. What time does this end? 10.30? 10.30, okay, it's just barely past the time. We might be able to catch them before they leave. Oh yes, omelets are pretty good as well. A nice omelet, stuffed with cheese, peppers, salsa, all that good stuff. There's a nice seven. Okay, let's get down the seven and the five. Nice, KC. Yeah, omelets are great. So are the scrambled eggs. But to be honest, eggs prepared in pretty much every way is good. I also like, um... I've always liked dipping toast in the yolk. So good. So, so good. So we did miss this herd for sure. One of them is still walking away, but the rest are gone, so... Let's reset the time. Because normally we have a lot of them over there. Let's do 710. See if they get there quicker. Oh, sorry, Noah. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting pretty hungry, too, thinking about all this food. <laughs> getting pretty hungry myself. There's a nice seven. This zone has consistently produced a seven pretty much every run now. We've had a seven or an eight here the last few runs. Which is great to see. Love it. There's our little four from that zone. Hey, Call the Wild Vids, how's it going? Ooh, nice, Sam. That sounds pretty good, man. No, don't you do it! Not again! No! <laughs> Why? They're just floating today. They're all just floating. This is terrible. Why so many floaters, Call the Wild? Why? Why so many floaters? I gotta know. Whose idea was it to make them run to the water? <laughs> Is a white brown pheasant a rare? I don't think so. That seems like it would be a common. I've never heard of it, at least. I've never heard of any rare that would be called that. But I haven't hunted the pheasants since they changed the fur type names. Could go for a nice, great one, Red Deer Jerky. Oh, yes. That would be great. That would be lovely. Nice, KC. Nice. I have a max weight estimate black bear somewhere on SRP that I can never find. Gotta love it, Sam. I've got a few like that where I see their tracks, but I never see them. Moose jerky? That sounds so good. I think the best, the best jerky I've ever had was American Wagyu jerky. That stuff is so good. And it's becoming quite... Quite affordable now that Wagyu beef is becoming more popular in the U.S. But that is some of the best jerky I've ever had was Wagyu jerky. My gosh, it is truly something else. Like, it lives up to the hype. People always hype up the Wagyu beef and oh my gosh, it is so good. I'm happy that it's starting to become a lot more affordable. 
Really happy that a lot of like uh, American ranchers are starting to do Wagyu beef. Because it really is just as good as they say. So, so good. There we go. Finally got a good one into him. Okay, we're going to have to probably walk quite a ways for this guy. But it is what it is. It's a seven. We got to get it down. Definitely just salon. Definitely. It's really good. I love it. Yeah, JP, that sounds about right. The thing about, like, most of the species in the game is they move. They move around quite a bit. Like, you'll have sometimes where they go to a different zone for some reason. And then there's also times where they're just late to their zone. It can be kind of difficult pinpointing uh, what the reasoning is that you're not seeing something sometimes. Hey, Gavin, how's it going? Hey, hug me, please. How have you been? Nice, Benjamin. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, it's really good. By far the best beef I've ever had. It is truly top-notch beef. Do I do purge runs with red deer? I haven't been recently. Um, it's, For me, at least, once I got my red deer to a certain point with like a certain amount of fours on the map... The rest of them have pretty much always come back at the levels that I'm shooting. Like, I've had an insane amount of 6s, 7s, 8s, 9s, 5s. They're showing up a lot more consistently now that there's a certain amount of 4s on the map. And I think that really is the way to do it. I think you really do just have to continue going until it gets to a point where just 99% of them come back at the proper levels. I don't have nearly as many that I can shoot each run now because of the fact that slowly there's becoming less five and above, but I'm getting way more consistent respawns now. Oh, there's a guy that we forgot to claim. All right, so it's time, guys. It's time we take out Gertie. You know, she's been chilling on the map for quite a while now. Uh, carefree because we weren't going to take her down, but I told you guys I would the second that we got great one number two and well, we got great one number two. So it's time for her to join him. Good old Gertie. You will be remembered and uh, forever chill with our great one red deer. And that guy's going down as well. And so's that guy. <laughs> All the stags hitting the floor today. I'm half expecting Brobra to enter the chat and be like, The curse is reincarnated! <laughs> yeah, KC. <laughs> we had to do it. We've been we've been keeping her alive this all, this whole time, so that she could join the Great One. Now she gets to join the Great One in my lodge. Ah, uh, no, Julie, that would not be a super rare because piebald teal are not rare. They're kind of an uncommon. All right, Dylan. Oh, that's unfortunate, Tiger.
Well, you can typically tell if it's a diamond just based off of the rack for uh, Red Deer. Typically, the troll is that weird rack that doesn't have a lot of tines, and then most of the time, the others make it. Most of the time, the others will make it. Where's the other one? No, we crashed. <laughs> oh, we don't get to claim her now. No, call of the wild. Why? It's that lake. It must be that lake. Both of our crashes have been at uh, that lake right there. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, call of the wild. I see how it is. We don't even get to remember Gertie in the lodge. The curse, I know. <laughs> that was the curse right there. That was it. We've had all of this good luck. And that was the curse that Brobro was talking about. Losing our piebald hind. <laughs> Unfortunate. Because we took out Gerald, the curse was uh, born that caused us to lose Gertie. Unfortunate. I'm going to leave this lake. This lake is bad luck. We're getting out of there because I keep crashing at it. <laughs> Why is it just that lake? Why is it just that lake that's causing me to crash? So unfortunate, guys. So unfortunate. Well, can't win them all. You win some, you lose some, as they would say. And in that case, uh, we lost some. Nice, Bryson. And because we crashed, not all of these are going to be back at their zone. So we're going to have to wait a little bit, probably, to see everything. That was really unfortunate. Quite sad. Um, why are you guys fleeing? Wait, what spooked them? They're just now fleeing. There's no way that I spooked them because they weren't rendered in when I fast traveled. That was weird. That was really weird. All right, so the four party is still all fours. Didn't have any new level seven spawn there like we did last time. Lost a piebald level seven after a crash. Ooh, that's unfortunate, Lucas. Yeah, I lost a diamond a few days ago to a crash. And then we just lost our, our little piebald hind, so. Unfortunate. It happens, though. It happens, unfortunately. You know, maybe it's time that we have some good luck. Everybody's favorite intro song is kicking up. Maybe this is when we will find the great one. Nope, no great one. Decent amount of uh, shooters, though. If only this guy would turn, we could take him. Come on, buddy. Turn for me. Thank you. I appreciate the cooperation. Okay, those are all fours there. So I'm assuming our big ones are not here yet. Three we can shoot there. Gosh, the lag is for real. 
Getting a lot of stuttering, unfortunately. Yeah, Andrew, we did just get a great one, Red Deer. We're going for another, though, because of how quickly we got that last one. Gotta see if we can keep the luck up, you know? Gotta see if we can keep going with that good luck. That's another shooter. Let's uh, hope we got a good hit. I don't know if we did though. Nice, Jake, that's awesome. Congrats on your first albino, dude. Congrats. What do we got here? Very low. Okay, not worth chasing then. Not worth chasing very low bleed rate. What about this? Very low again. Oof. Rough. Very rough. Um. What? What? How are you not spooking? You know, typical call of the wild things. Typical call of the wild things here. Might as well take the opportunity to get some pictures. Might as well if I get the opportunity. That one floating that way. Yep, that's our seven, I think. Believe that's our seven. Huh. Well, that's quite unfortunate. And we had another one floating this way, but I don't see it. Sometimes these things just disappear when I fast travel, I've noticed. If they're floating, like half the time they just disappear. So weird. So I guess if you have um like a, a diamond that lands in the water, don't fast travel. Because I don't know where those two that were floating went. Or I guess it was just one. We had one floating this way. I don't know where it went. Uh, yeah, Lane, you can look at the pictures you take. In the Steam screenshots folder. I don't know about on console. Nice, Dylan. That's honestly pretty good. 800 kills with 11 diamonds, 6 trolls, and a mela. That's not bad. That's decent. Come on, floppy boy. Get over here. You trying to dance on the water? Alright, later, Sam. Thanks for dropping in, dude. Hope you have a good day. All right, well, anyway, guys, I think we're going to end the stream here once we claim this guy. It is two minutes till the YouTube short that I have prepared for today goes live. It's going to show you the best Red Deer Lake in the game. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to go ahead and end it. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. If you did, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, be sure to like the uh, stream before you go. And I will see you all in tomorrow's stream. Peace!